Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm just going to answer Ramsey's question on um, Zoho projects and assigning a contact that doesn't have an account. Uh, I work with individuals, or it is. It's here, look, look. Um, now I'm trying to attach a project to an existing client whom I have under my contact tab, and I'm being told I have to associate a client to an account first. Cool. So. Uh, and then you ask about best practices. So let me explain what's happening. So you're going to go to contacts and, well, so you've got a project, right, basically. So I've got a project test. I want to assign this to a contact I've already got. So I'm going to go to contacts and go to John Smith. I'm going to go down to new project. When I click add new project, it says, um, in fact, I would have gone associate project. Please associate an account with this contact before creating a project. Right, so all you've got to do is go up here to account, account name, right? Click on the little box, and if you've got a, um, a list of accounts, then it would be there, or you just add a new one, and you know, just call it John Smith. It's a bit backwards, but you might have to put, you know, johnsmith.com. All you've got to do is put in that information save and associate and save it now when I go back down to projects and associate project oh maybe I need to refresh it does it take yep it's happy uh, to create a project you must provide an email address for okay so John Smith doesn't have an email All right so uh, John at johnsmith.com right are you happy now associate okay so now I grab that project test it's gonna give me the information and then I save it so now I can associate it that way so that's a little bit of a backward way of doing it you associate you create a project and then you associate the contact afterwards what you really should be doing um, in my opinion so it would start with a lead. A lead is you've you've had an inkling that somebody wants something doing. Um, so you're a freelance, uh, you're a designer, work with different clients' projects. I'm looking for the best way to organize my workflows. So I know you're a designer, so I don't know exactly what you design. So I'm going to say that you design logos, right? So um, one of your friends has said to you, um, Mrs. Mrs. Jones down the street wants uh, a logo designing. So I'm going to put Mrs. Uh, Philippa. I, probably, I don't even know. I don't even know if that's an, uh, spelled right. Jones, right? You don't know her email address. You don't know what, whatever. But it's just a lead. Uh, Dave says Philippa. I figured I first spelt it wrong. Oh. Philippa <laughs> wants a new logo. All right, so this is how you would work it, and you'd save it. <clears throat> and that saves on a back burner. Um, and again, it's going to want you to do an account. So um, what would she be called? Which, uh, pet suppliers, um, R.O.S., something like that, right? And then save. And again, if you don't know her company, you just put Miss, Mrs. Philippa Jones or just put Philippa Jones in that contact. So now that's just a lead. It sits there as a lead, Philippa Jones, right? Now you may then um, make a phone call or decide I'm going to follow up on this lead. It's a hot lead and I'm going to convert it into a potential. You might say deal. I don't know why mine's gone back to potential. I think it's because I've got an older account. I need to relabel it. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm now gonna create a potential or a deal. So this is where I'm gonna follow this person um, into a quote stage. So I'm gonna say by the end of the month, potential name is Pets R Us logo. You might not need to put Pet Pets R Us. Stage is uh, whatever you decide. Proposal, research, maybe campaign sources. If you've um, got a yellow pages or you've got an advert on Facebook, you know this is a the campaign sources, this is your mate Dave telling you. Contact role, uh, this is who you're going to 
find the decision maker and you convert it. Now it is a account. Here's the account. Here's the contact. So we said, what's the company name? We said, what's the contact name? And then we said um, the potential. So you've got three things here now. So you've got the account set up. Uh, you've got the potent. They've got the cust the contact set up. I can't go back now, right? You've got the contact set up for the Pajones. and now in your um, potentials or deals, yours will probably say deals. I mean, I have now the deal. So I've gone through, and um, I've gone through the quote. So now you're going to send a quote. You're going to work out the pricing. It's going to go through all these stages. And then you win the project, right? So amount, close one, save, right? I've won that logo. So now I'm going to go into the project and add a new project. So now I'm going to go uh, logo for pets or us, right? Project group, you might put start date and start straight away. I want to get done by the end of the month. Project group none, project overview, create logo for pets or oh, pets. Pets are us. Whatever it is, right? You get in the drift. You know this part. And then you save. And that's now got a project. So that now your project uh, is, oh, it's just jumped to it, right? Is here. So Zoho Projects. So now you've done it the other way around. So you create the lead, you convert it into an account, account being the business, and if it's just an individual, call the business or the account the same name as the um, as the as the contact. Uh, you've created the contact, then you create a potential where you go into negotiation and you've got all them stages where you've got you know research, sent a proposal, sent sent your invoice, sorry, sent your um, quote, you're negotiating the quote and then close one. Then you create the project because you're not going to create a project project until after you've won the job, right? So you win the job here, create the project, and then you're, you're into the project with all the information you need. So I know that were a long answer to how do I add a uh, contact to a project, but uh, you also ask what's the best way I see it. I see it lead potential project and then invoice eventually all right so i hope, hope it helps uh, i'm going to post it i'm going to post a video here keep asking your questions because plenty of people will be asking um the same questions you're asking um any, any for anybody else come to to z1train.com it's going to be practical training on zoho one so that is you know zoho projects zoho crm uh, if you go to all the courses, I'm gonna I'm eventually build out all the beginner training will be free. Uh, as we get in more depth stuff or more custom things for specific people, uh, there may be some charge. But all the beginner training on each app will be free. So I hope it helps. Come to the forum, ask on YouTube, wherever you're watching it, ask the questions, and uh, we can dive all over the answers. So hopefully Ramsey that helped. Keep asking. See you soon.